how do you go about building these types of companies? There's a huge difference. Hi guys, there are several different ways of looking at your business and where you want to go with it. Depending on your goal, your strategy of building the business will differ. There are two major ideas behind founding and growing a company. One is to eventually have your company acquired by another party, meaning you are starting a company with the clear intention of selling it one day or going public. The other one is that you uh, not only own the company, but also you operate the business in the long term. You see the company as your baby and want to see it grow and evolve under your supervision. Now, how do you go about building these types of companies? There's a huge difference. Yesterday, I attended the general assembly of a startup in which I am invested and uh, the founder and managing director does not have the primary goal of being acquired or going public. His goal is to use his company and its influence to make the world a better place and grow the business with this intent. This means that he does not make decisions to embellish the EBDA by, for example, cost cutting at any expense. He regularly invests in the business and takes his time. He makes decisions in line with his ethical values. I am actually quite impressed with the way he is going about it. If you have a company and your goal is to be acquired, your point of view will be different. You would rather make decisions that help increase the company value by, for example, working on the bottom line and your cash flow. Your strategy will be more short-term oriented uh, than long-term. It is an approach where shareholder value is at the center of attention. I also worked for such a company many years ago in the past and I can only tell you it's completely different. Uh, it's a completely different kettle of fish. It's all about growth, lean structures and quick returns. Everyone was aiming to become rich through the IPO. The losers of this game were company culture and human values. Neither of these approaches are wrong or right. They just reflect your way of doing things and your idea of your business. Now, why am I telling you all this? When you have started a business and think about the way you run it, it is very important that you know what your ultimate goal is at the very beginning. Is it to fulfill your long-term mission, which has a higher meaning, or do you want to get rich with it? Uh, your leadership will be completely different depending on the goal. It is important that you clearly define that at the beginning you uh, what you want and communicate and act consistently afterwards so that everyone in the company knows what it is all about and how to act. That's what I call corporate clarity and executive discipline. If you are interested, you can find my contact details below this video and we can have a chat about one of your specific leadership challenges together. Click on the link below this video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment within the feedback lines. I will respond personally to every comment. Thanks for watching. This was Armin El Ra from Elena Drau, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.